So I don't have to tell you the hardest thing about cancer treatments when it comes to chemo is that other parts get sick. Your regular cells get sick. You lose your hair, you get nauseous, and that's what people are really afraid of. But if you don't know this, you need to know it now that we can deliver and people are looking into delivering treatments in the body that are directed to the cancer cell. How novel is that? Now all that stuff that unfortunately many people before us, our parents, our grandparents, that had cancer treated one way, which is a shotgun approach, has changed. They use, for example, something called an antibody drug conjugate. And that's just a fancy term to mean, I'm gonna put the chemo onto this molecule or this, uh, this antibody, and then I'm gonna deliver it, and only when that vehicle links up with a receptor on the cancer cell, injects the chemo into the cancer cell. So obviously, you can imagine this is a lot better tolerated. And so we have these treatments that are called liposomal delivery. So that, that's one way to get deeper and penetrate deeper into the cancer area of your body. We have ADCs, antibody drug conjugates, like I just said, where it has that receptor and carries the chemo. Now, of course, every now and then it misfires and hits your regular cells. But if you want to talk about something really crazy, they're designing ways, it's called a DNA cage, where basically that drug goes all the way to the cancer cell and that cancer protein that looks a little different than your other proteins, it's cancerous. If there's like a, a wooden trident that we all have in our normal cells, this one's like made of black steel, right? It's scary, it's a cancer cell. When this treatment links up to that, it unlocks a DNA cage, which then goes into the cancer, invades it like a Trojan horse, and all of a sudden you're killing the cancer. And you do this without having to poison all of your other cells equally. But the only way you can learn about these kind of really what we call novel or precision drugs is to do trials, right? You have to be able to like know what receptor you're attacking and know the cancers that exist. So when you get offered a trial, what those trials now are designed for, as opposed to back in the day, which is like, can humans live and survive if we give this treatment? It's not like that. They recognize that protein or that receptor, that trident to attack and deploy the, you know, the DNA or the chemotherapy to kill the cell. Those trials are what make these things possible and come out as guideline approved therapies. So one, that's the evidence, that's, that's the reason to have the trials. But number two, you can't access a lot of these drugs even if they're working really well in trials. That's why I was really excited to join Xcures. Xcures.com forward slash options actually will tell you do those drugs or are there drugs that attack in really kind of novel ways your specific cancer type. And so they designed this totally free service. It's called Xinform for all those patients that may be on their third and fourth guideline approved drugs and may have something out there that works really well on their tumor, but you don't know about it, even as an oncologist, until it goes through all the red tape. And as an oncologist, I use the other side of it, which is called X Decide. And that's where those patients that do have really rare cancers, cholangiocarcinomas and, and glioblastomas, as well as the ones that are kind of like, I'm out of options, that are good options as far as approved therapies, I'll go to xdecide.com because there I get a list with artificial intelligence pulling all these different trials on saying, hey, these are some of the things that your patient's tumor has that looks like there's some treatments that are really effective in it. So that's at, again, xcures.com. It's totally free. And that's why I'm proud that they've sponsored a lot of this content um, to really help people deliver and get the best care and sometimes care that's even, you know, more compatible with the good quality of the time that you have with your battle in cancer.